Hey guys, welcome back to the another video tutorial of the Android application development. Here in this particular tutorial, I am going to talk about the SQLite database. That how you can build an SQLite database for uh, several categories, how you can insert the data into the SQLite database tables, and how you will retrieve all the information from the SQLite database, and also how you can update this uh, that particular table while doing the programming through the application so here in this particular tutorial i am going to take the student information from the user so there will be a field uh, there will be a class of the students and i will take the student information uh, let's say the enrollment number then the um, name and the phone number of the particular student and id will be automatically generated so this is what we will define in the while uh, when we define the database then it will set as the property that is auto incremented but for deleting that particular entry of the student or updating that particular entry of the student the ID will be used so that is how that is why we have I have taken the ID over here, here also so mainly first of all you have to define the student class uh, in your particular <coughs> mainly you have to define the student class uh, in your java file so create a student class over there and take the four properties that the properties are like the integer id will be into the into the integer format then the enrollment number which is also into the integer format then the name and the phone number which we will take as the string because uh, it will be manipulated uh, with that particular data type so that is the string value for that one then uh, we will define a particular empty constructor for the student which we will call whenever we create the instance of that particular student and next the constructor which contain all the four, four parameters so we will pass so we can pass this uh, uh, we, will, we can call this particular constructor uh, constructor when uh, we are going to update the student information and the constructor with the three parameters which does not contain the id information uh, that we will create uh, when we will insert the particular student info student information into the particular database so this is what the three constructor that you have to define and after that to the for all the properties the getters and the setters are uh, defined with the help of uh, the alter in in the Android Studio, if you will click on the alter insert, then it will open this particular type of a video and it will let you create the lot of the information automatically. So if you will select the getters and the setters, so it will just give you the list of the particular fields that are remain to be described in the getters and setters. Because here all the information, uh, all the getters and setters are already defined. So I cannot create that particular getter and setter but i will show you that uh, by deleting this one if i want to insert the getters then it will give me the list of the particular uh, list of the particular methods and for each and every method i can define the getters over here so this way the getters will be defined automatically with the help of the android studio so first of all you have to create this student class which contain the four parameters the id enrollment number name and the phone number and make sure you will use the same syntax of these particular properties in our database handler class so because we are going to pass this particular uh, instance of the student with the all the properties to the database handle cla handler class which will handle the database operation so here is the database handler uh, class which extend the sqlite open helper class uh, the parent class is that one which uh, will give you the ability to create the database tables uh, in the SQLite format so this is what the things that you have to define first of all you have to define the database version which will be the private uh, static final integer so you have to define the database version equal to one then the database name will be there which is also a private static final string the name of the database will be the student then the table name will be there which you have to define over here as the private static final string the table student details that is what the student details it is the name of the particular table then you have to define the particular co columns of the, uh, this particular table so this is what the uh, columns of that particular table that is the uh, id enrollment number name and the phone number and i have defined it with the particular final string so i can refer it into the further processing so this is what the few things that you have to uh, implement uh, whenever uh, you will open the uh, when you will create the sqlite open helper class now you have to define one particular constructor which will which is con uh, which contain the context as the particular uh, parameter argument and the super <coughs> 
the super method of this parent class of this particular db handler will be called upon which contains the context of uh, the context of the activity from which the db handler will be called the name of the particular database the null reference and the version of the particular database next the on create method that uh, you have to override so which is useful for creating the table so in the on create method whenever the db handler uh, class will be instantiated we will it will create the on create method and it will create the particular database if that particular data table is not present over there so it will not uh, call each and every time when your application is startup it will only call out if the table is not there so first of all you have to create a string the string equal to the name of the string will be the the create student details table is there then the query that you have to write uh, in like the, this manner the create table the name of this particular table which we have defined previously over there the student uh, details is the name of that particular table and the bracket the opening bracket the parameters that you have to define is the key id that is the column name id uh, which will be the integer primary key comma key enrollment number which is the column name equal to enrollment number it is a text the name which is also a text key font number which is also a text in the form of the sqlite table so these are what the parameter that you have to set and make sure you will put the comma at the end of the each and every column but not in the last column okay and make sure you will close this parenthesis over here also so this will be the string of this particular uh, table for the creating the student details table and you can also create the uh, many more tables with the help of the different strings if you will define the different strings over there and now with the help of the db instance of the sqli database you have to just call the execute sql statement or execute sql method from over here which will contain the parameter as a string that we have defined earlier so you have to just call this particular method with the help of this particular string which will create the table for you whenever you will whenever the db handler instance will be created so on create method will create this particular table for you now this uh, this is the uh, method how you can create the particular table now when you will upgrade your particular database with the help of the db handler then what will happen so on upgrade method you have to call the you have to pass the sqlite database instance over here you have to define the older version of the database and you have to define you have to define the newer version of the database so what will happen on the upgrade of this database you have to just drop all the table if those tables are exist and you have to create again those all the tables with the new parameters so there is a one simple trick is there drop the older tables if those tables are exist so you have to call the db dot execute sql drop table if exist and you have to pass the table name over here and after that you have to just call the on create method which is already defined over here so you can just drop the table if those tables are uh, not uh, if those tables are exist and you have to just create the tables again by calling the on create method so this is what the two things that you have to do for the db handler so this will create the table for you now what we are going to do we have just created the student class over here and we have created the db handler class over here so which kind of information that i am going to take from the user so the information that i have defined over here the id enrollment number name and the phone number but i am going to take only the enrollment number name and the phone number because i have defined the id as the integer primary key which is auto incremented okay so i does not need to take this particular id from the user so this is the form of the student uh, yeah this is the form of the students which uh, i have designed to take the information from the user so first of all the enrollment number will be there then the name of the student then the phone number of the students will be there so this will be the information that the student will uh, give me and i will pass this data to the db handler class so this is what the method and for the main activity i have defined the four buttons over here that is the add student will open this particular form as a dialog in which uh, the uh, user will input those information and on clicking the submit the data will be passed back to the db handler class 
okay this is what the scenario that i have implemented but i have used the um, alert dialog fragment concept over here you can uh, easily implement this concept with the help of the different activity and the uh, activity layout or activity theme you can set to the dialog activity in the manifest file so the activity will be look uh, like as a dialog whenever you will open your particular this form <coughs> so this is what the student I add student form over here and the next the delete student form where I will just take uh, the ID of that particular student which will be the ID of that particular student uh, information uh, of which you want to delete the student information that you want to delete so you have to pass the ID of that particular student and on the update method in the update method that I have displayed this particular form to the user where uh, the user have to pass on the id of that particular student the new enrollment number if the enrollment number has been changed uh, the name of that particular student and the updated phone number so these are the information which uh, is displayed to the user when the user will click on this particular different buttons the add student update information or the delete details uh, on these particular three forms so these three forms will be displayed to the user and the show details method is there which will retrieve all the information of the students from the sqlite table that we have uh, created that we are going to create in the sqlite database so all the information student information data will be cached up over, he over here in the list of the student and which is displayed over here in the below text view so that is what the procedure and this is what the initial setup that you have to do and i will talk uh, about this all the other procedure that how you can define the add student in my next video tutorial so make sure make sure you will do the configuration about uh, this particular uh, uh, particular application setup and link to the next video tutorial to get the more of this uh, to get the more knowledge about this practical okay so thanks for watching this video and please subscribe to my channel to get the more knowledge about the android application development